Welcome to the Origin Threaded Fasteners course. I am John Press, one of the members of Origin and have been involved in forensic engineering and failure investigation for some 15 years. During this time, we have been involved in numerous cases of fastener failure, which have given rise to practical investigations evaluating fastener performance. We have also been involved in a number of cases where the stress in bolts has been measured during pre-tensioning exercises and while in service. This course is made up of a number of sections, starting with a basic introduction, which will be followed by sections focusing on design and selection, installation and assembly, operation and maintenance, and finally, design and performance review. Let's get going with the introduction to threaded fasteners. Firstly, let's look at why we are here and run through a series of examples. Our final example involves a tire crane on a construction site. In the middle of the afternoon, after working satisfactorily for a number of weeks, the boom and cab of the crane detached from the tower and toppled backwards, landing on the roofs of adjacent buildings across which the injured and badly shaken driver was rescued. Investigation highlighted that the securing bolts had been used on multiple occasions and resulted in significant thread damage. In addition, the majority of the bolts joining the boom to the tower were loose and others had stripped. Clearly, there was significant damage to the crane. The operator escaped with a broken arm and a cut of the head, but given the circumstances, was lucky. This is another example involving installation and assembly, as well as the lack of proper maintenance. The full course is made up of five main subsections that are aimed at ensuring the suitability of the bolt in service. The first subsection is about form and material. In this subsection, we will touch on various material aspects, how fasteners are manufactured, thread forms and property standards. The next subsection is of fundamental importance is design and selection. In this subsection, we will look at the elements that define selection. We will delve into preload and bolt and member stiffness in detail and talk about fatigue. Subsection 3 is about installation and assembly, which, as illustrated by the stats presented earlier, is very important, with up to 40% of failures investigated being related to installation. In this section, we'll touch on procurement, specification compliance, and verification, and go into detail on installation methods. In the fourth subsection on operation and maintenance, we will discuss aspects that impact on maintenance and operation. The final subsection revolves about design and performance review and is really about learning from historical performance and the aspects of review process that should be fed back into design and selection and installation and operation. 